Cabin life is awesome. It's really, really cool if you think about it, just like living in a house for six weeks with 12 other awesome girls. Living in a cabin is fun. We all bond together. It's like we all have so much fun together. We're always so energetic and just happy for each other about everything. Cabin life is like living with all your friends for six weeks. It's really fun. I've met a lot of new friends from all around the world. The first day that I came here, I felt welcome just right away. We have an intense schedule, and uh, we start as early as 6.50 in the morning, and we go until about 9.30 in the evening. We get uh, woken up. You always hear, dun, dun, dun. So we start, and then we go to breakfast, come back, we get ready for personal inspection, which is PI, and our cabin counselor comes around, checks our beds. You think about what makes a leader. This is what this place offers, because we're using the military in that, in that respect. The inspections, they have to get up and they have to take care of themselves, but they also have to step across and help other people too. Everyone helps each other around the cabin. There's a certain way to everything here at Culver. It's not very hard if you get it. After personal inspection, the campers start their class day, and they have four classes until lunch. And this is where each child becomes an individual and goes out and has their own set of classes. First two periods, I have scuba. Breathing underwater, it was spectacular. It was huge for me, taking breath. You just get under the water and it feels so calm and you can't hear any outside noises. You're just breathing through a tank and regulator. And we went to a boat wreck and that was so cool because you could see something that was gone and you could be breathing underwater, you could be touching it. That's one thing that you can do at camp. Sailing was really fun. We, we learned how to do the bowling, the figure eight, and like tons of other knots. And also we know how to rig and de-rig a boat. Then I have water skiing, which is really big. And I've never tried wakeboarding. I'm gonna try that. Never tried kneeboarding. I'm trying that here. After morning classes, uh, there's time where the kids have some rest period and where they can read, lay on their bed, maybe write a letter home. They are also going to lunch. They line up in their units, they head down to the dining hall. I would say between lunch and their fifth class period in the afternoon, they have about two hours. So that's time for rest period, that's time to go to lunch, and that's time to get to their next class. After their fifth class period, this is when all the campers get into their units and they do unit competitions against each other. You have the cabin activities. Those are so much fun. You go out there with your cabin and you face other cabins in either softball or soccer. And so there's basketball, there's volleyball. There's also swim meets and track meets that happen once a week for each of the units. And that's when they can uh, compete against each other in a wide variety of activities. After they come back from their competitions, it's usually time for showers. And that's when they go into our shower facility, they come out, they meet with one of our assistant counselors, they check their hair and their elbows and maybe their knees. They ask them if they have their shampoo and conditioner and if for some reason they don't have one of those things, it is the child's responsibility to go to the bookstore maybe the following day to pick up those items. And that's one of the things that we do here at Culver is to make sure that they are being responsible for their own things. After they shower, this is the time where they go down for dinner. They march down with their unit. They do cheering outside if they have to wait. They go through the line and there's always a variety of things on the line. If they don't like the main option, there's also salad, there's peanut butter and jelly, there's always something else that they can choose from. 
not always are they in the dining hall. Maybe once a week they are out at a cookout with one unit or maybe even two units, a boy and a girl unit, enjoying some activities together and having a meal. A couple nights a week we have movies where we go to the auditorium on Upper Camp and watch a movie. We do a talent show over there. They have a camp play. After that, they come back. They have their milk and cookies together as a cabin with their cabin counselor. Milk and cookies is like the last part of the day where you can see all your friends, talk, eat, and be around before you go to bed. Talk about what you're expecting tomorrow, what you're hoping for. It's kind of just a big social time. To me, I kind of think of it as like a reward of all that you did through the day. And every night before the kids go to bed at 9.30, there's taps. And one of our campers from the Drum and Bugle Corps have their trumpet, and they make the sound of taps. And that's the call across campus for everyone to go to bed. The weekends are a different schedule than our normal Monday through Friday. And this is where we have special activities that parents are always invited to, except for that first weekend. There's the council fire, for instance. Council fire is when all the campers go out to our 1,200-seat arena out in the woods. I'm actually in the next council fire, which is like a big show. There's also religious services with a wide variety of different faiths. Garrison Parade is also one of the main attractions for the weekend, and that's when all 1,375 campers are out on the field, parents are watching, and they go through a parade sequence. You ask anybody about Culver, what's the most special thing about camp at Culver, and it's the Garrison Parade on that Sunday evening, watching all of these kids going through this parade sequence, all in order, with leadership that's shown, and kids that are proud of their accomplishments. And then also the, the end of the day wraps around the awards. And this is when all the kids get together after parade, all the parents are there, and all the staff are there, and we hand out individualized awards, but also group awards. So they see both the benefit of each of those, where they have been working all week to work towards that C-pin or that medal or that patch. And then there's the point where they also have been working towards a group award, such as the athletic banner. The award ceremony is a good wrap-up of the week. The campers earn their awards, they're motivated to go into the next week with new challenges, and they get ready for bed, say goodbye to mom and dad, and then they start off that next week. <laughs>